Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a Say Something activity in TinyTap and combine it with an Ask a Question activity. Let's go ahead and take a look here at my TinyTap account. And like all activities, I'll start by clicking the Create button and I'm going to create a game. And like all of my TinyTap activities I've done in this series, I'll start by giving it a title. This one's going to be all about airplanes. And now let's design the slide. In this case here, I'm going to choose a style that I like, which is way down at the bottom of the list of styles. But I like that background. And now I'm going to use the creation packs here. And in the travel creation pack, there's a picture of an airplane that I want to use. So there's my travel one and there's the airplane. And I can click and drag to position it wherever I like and make it bigger or smaller. Now, I also want to add to my slide a couple of pictures that I have. So I'm going to upload those. And I'm going to upload here this picture of a Qantas owned Airbus A380. And I'll want to click and drag to make that smaller and put it over here. And I'm going to upload another picture. I have this one here of the Southern Cross airplane. This picture is in the public domain. And I'm going to click and drag and put that on my slide as well. And finally, Let's add some text and we'll call it all about airplanes. And now I can click and drag to make that text bigger or smaller as well. So there it is all about airplanes. Now I'm going to set an activity type right on this first title slide. So let's set activity and I'm going to have it be a say something activity. This activity is all about airplanes and you're going to learn about a couple of them in this activity today. So I save my recording. I'll click this gear icon and enable tap to continue so that my students can tap or click the slide to move on to the next slide. Speaking of slides, let's add one right now. And what I'm going to do is just duplicate this one because I like that background and I like my title, but I only want to focus on one airplane on this second slide. So I'm going to delete the ones, delete the images that I don't need Let's make that one a little bit bigger. And I'm going to remove the activity, clear the activity, and do a new recording. So I'll select set activity again. I'll do say something. We'll clear the previous recording and start a new one. This is a picture of the Southern Cross, the first airplane to make a trans-Pacific flight from the United States to Australia. And now that I have that recording done, I'll just tap to continue again. And let's go back in and add another slide. So we'll use this slide navigator and creator over here. And I'm going to add another slide by this time duplicating this one again. And I'm going to now clear the activity. And this time around, I'm going to set the activity type of ask a question. And I want my students to identify which of these airplanes was the first to make a trans-Pacific flight. So I'm going to ask a question. Which of these airplanes was the first to make a trans-Pacific flight? And now I just trace the answer. And 
we are done. And I can now preview this. Which of these airplanes was the first to make a Trans-Pacific flight? Yay! And so that's how you can create a Say Something activity in TinyTap and combine it with an Ask a Question activity to complete, create a complete TinyTap game. For more things like this, please check out the links in the description down below or visit freetech4teachers.com.